Hey guys, Eclipse14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Fantasy Star. Alright, last episode was a disaster. <laughs> Double Titan encounters and bullcrap all the way through. Yikes, that was rough. But anyway, we covered the bottom two floors of Medusa's Tower, and now we're going to cover the remaining five this episode. At least, hopefully. All I can do now is hope RNG doesn't cause a total train crash as I run through the valley and the tower itself, because getting through there already sucks enough. The fact that I had to go through crappy encounters that whole episode didn't really make matters any better. I actually got into the tower without a single encounter. That is surprising. But, let's use this flash and let's just get this show started. That was not... Alright, so there's actually two ways to get up to 2F. And we're going to go through the western one first, as that ends up at a dead end at 4F. But it also contains some rewards, and that's the main reason for doing this, even though they are pretty small. So to get there, just run this path that I'm taking, and up oh, Green Dragon to start things off. At least I can fight this guy, because that's literally the only thing I've fought in the last episode, because it was the only one I felt like I could have a chance against. Marauders I probably can, because they're only 135 HP, but they have Thunder, and Thunder sucks. Because it hits everybody for a crap ton of damage. Of course, the Titans are god awful and the Centaurs are just as ugly, even though they face only one at a time. Green Dragons were the only one I felt like I had a chance against, and as you can see, I definitely do have a chance. And he's down. Good. Alright, with that said, take this right and head all the way down this passage to 2F. Now inside 2F is largely a boxious uh, dungeon. Take this right and go all the way to the end. In which case, you will get yourself your next chest. Inside here is 10 Meseta. Not much, but as I've said throughout the game, where bats? What the hell? That's weak as shit. Well, at least they're welcome in this case, because they're a joke to fight. Although they could be annoying. But yeah, as I've always said through this game, Masetta is Masetta. This is especially the case since I haven't really done any huge grinding simulations. Only a few voluntary episodes. Notably the one with the Silver Fang. But anyway, yeah, you're running a box. So I'm just gonna... Uh-oh. Okay, at least that's fine. There's the thunder! Which is exactly why I didn't want to fight this guy to start with. But anyway, yeah, you're in a box, so just kind of take your passage. Ow! <laughs> Seriously? I mean, it's welcome, but really? Anyway, when you get here, you get this T. To your left is an empty chest that's more than likely trapped. Go this way, you'll end up at 3F. And right here, you got yourself... Well... This is... Okay, I made a mistake. Um... I don't know why I said 4F in this case. This is actually where it, it dead ends, is 3F. 4F is actually when the dungeon starts becoming a lot more linear. And all I have to do in this case is simply grab a chest here. There's also a guy we can talk to. And that really is the end of the section. So we have to end up in the eastern half of 1F to actually make the progress. And I'm just trying to break this guy. Thank you. Holy shit, finally. So we're going to take this passage first, because right there is a door that I'm going to open with the dungeon key. Inside here is the final chest of the western half, which contains 35 Masetta. Which is fine. Not a problem. Stalkers. Four of them! No. I'm not dealing with four of them. Show us how not dealing with you. I guess I'm fighting this guy too. But yeah, there's a guy in here that we can talk to, and I may as well speak to him since I spoke to one of the other men that's last episode. 
since you can just walk right towards him, open the door, and you'll speak to him, which is... Soon you'll find out the truth. What truth? If, if it's the truth that this dungeon is hard as shit, then I've already figured that out easily. Finally, he's down. Open that for another 176 Masetta, and let's get moving to this door. Use the dungeon key, and let's talk to the guy inside. In which case, he just says, Go back, your last chance. I mean, not that it really matters, considering this place is a dead end. Another green dragon. I mean, at least it helps, and I can breeze through this with ease, because they don't... The Dream Dragon doesn't do as much damage as everybody else does. Especially for uh, one that has such high HP. So that's why I make this opportunity to do this. And of course, Laconian Sword does one damage against this sucker, which is ridiculous. But you don't really want to use your magic o over this whole thing, considering you're definitely going to want to uh, put the pressure on Medusa when you finally face her. So, the less magic you use, the better. At least Noah leveled up and gained a new spell. Wait, new spell? Let's see what he got. In this case, uh, maybe I have to use magic itself. Ah, the open spell. This effectively means I am now at the minimum level possible to deal with Fire Malay and get to the end of the game. Unfortunately, we don't have everything necessary to make that possible. Just know that when you get the open spell, you're able to access Bayam Malay and the and as such the end of the game. So yeah, most of the game is literally just trying to grind your way for items and getting Noah to get the open spell, because that's literally the only way you can access the rest of the end of the game. Everything else is just bullshit up to that point. At least I got another flash. Alright, so I gotta make my way all the way back and eventually reach the other half of the dungeon. But before I even do that, I gotta check my stats. Where am I? Oh god. Uh, yikes. I mean... Damn, I didn't want to have to back out. But I think I might have to, just to get the hospital fees, because I don't want to use Meow's Cure. Especially with everybody damaged. Most of this is because of Thunder. And just being equalized out, which is not good. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to, uh, walk back to Gothic, heal up, and, uh, shit. That was a mistake. Yeah, I'll walk back to Gothic, heal up, and then go face, uh, Medusa for real. So at least I got the western half of this whole thing covered. And then this will be the last real run. How much time has it passed? Eight minutes, yikes. I mean, I did want to try for 20, so it's not like it's the worst in the world, but I know how these encounters can be really stupid. It can get from one step in encounters, and as you just saw at the beginning of the episode, I didn't face a single encounter all the way to the tower from leaving Gothic. Uh oh. I ended up in the basement. God damn it. I ended up losing track of where I was. Awesome. At least now I'm in the right direction. Be it freaking terrible position. At least deal with the sphinxes and be done with it. And there we go. And another damn flash. Yeah, I, uh, I just lost track of where I was. Open the door, let's get back to Gothic and heal up and try this again. 
Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't face a single encounter all the way through this valley, which is really unusual. Although that probably won't be the same when I finally come back. And likewise, I made it through the whole damn valley and back to Gothic without an encounter again. What the hell? Pay the 110. Alright, at least I touched 8,000 for a moment. But I still need... Pretty much 4,000. 4,150 in this case. Uh, 4,250 in this case. And that will, uh, take care of things. Alright! Approaching 11 minutes, so I have about 9 minutes to try and take out Medusa to try to get it within time. But, I th I don't think it's going to be the worst thing in the world. I may as well just uh, continue as is. And how much time happens, happens. But I usually try to stay within 20 minutes for each episode. There are a few exceptions that I will do that don't rely on the last episode, which is my main focus for something. I'm going to skip this, because... Um, I'm just gonna go through with it. Also, I actually uh, just read while I was just kind of looking around uh, last night. Gold Scorpions have a higher chance of the chest being trapped than any other enemy in the game by a long shot as well. So, I was just gonna skip that so I didn't get bombed. Anyway, let's go ahead and get things started with the final assault. We'll go ahead and head this direction turn here, you'll eventually bend this way, and just go straight, straight. If you take the left here, you go to an empty chest. Take the right instead. Now we reach this floor. Alright, let's take a look. Alright, either way doesn't honestly matter, you just have a door blocking the front side. And you want to go this way anyway, because it contains the only chest of worth. If you turn left, and turn left here, up oh, Marauder! Oh, better that than being thundered. Are you just guarding the door? In which case, can you fucking let us pass? What the fucking hell? <sighs> Fuck it. This game is just bullshitting right now. It really is. Oh, there's the thunder. Well, I'm not surprised. I mean, you're just blocking the damn door and not letting me pass. I may as well fight you. Fuck off! Good god. Alright, can I walk in here? Thank you. Inside here is the only chest of worth on this section of 2F, which is a burger. I had to fi I had to deal with a dungeon guard, I guess, just to get a goddamn burger. God, imagine if that was real life. Walk into a freaking McDonald's or something like that, try to order a burger, but first you have to fight your freaking bouncer. Total bullshit. Alright, fuck off. Alright, hang on. Okay. You do want to take this turn here, because this actually goes to 3F. The only other chest inside here is an empty chest, so it doesn't really matter. Pass this way, and begins a long passage where pretty much there's nothing other than just a few... A few small uh, niche turns here and there that lead to stuff. But other than that, it's mostly straightforward from this point onward. In any case, I'll deal with this green dragon, considering all it does is breath attacks, and only Odin takes any real damage from it, considering his defense is god-awful. Alright, I got through that faster than any of the other dragons so far. Alright, keep rolling, keep rolling. There is a small little turn coming up, which has the only treasure of this floor of concern, three stalkers. I can do this one. 
But other than that, there's an empty chest on this floor, and that's about it. So, just move right along without any issue, and you're good. First things first, I gotta deal with stalkers, which I don't mind. I can at least fight these guys, and it isn't too much of a problem. That takes care of those three. In which case, nice chunk of set up for that one. But this is the turn. Turn right, immediately you face the chest, which has a mere 10 Masetta. Masetta is Masetta. Go ahead and head down here, and there's a door. Go ahead and use the dungeon key, and move forward. In which case, up oh, double stalker, might as well deal with this run through this for that issue. So far we're doing okay here, apart from that Marauder BS, right? <laughs> that was guarding the burger. But yeah, it's like trying to go to a freaking fast food restaurant and in order to purchase a burger, you have to fight the bouncer inside the restaurant. If that... And uh, yes, it doesn't make sense, but this is pretty much what it is. You're trying to order a burger, and the Marauder's a bouncer. Anyway, take the left passage, you go to an empty chest that's more than likely trapped. Take the right passage, and eventually you'll end up at 4F. Once you open this door, of course. And finally, we're at 4F. How much time has passed? Uh-oh, that... what well, uh, 16 and a half minutes, well, I'm not surprised. Anyway, we'll go this direction. All the way. Oh shit, Reaper. Nope. Okay, dude, I really just want to pass. I'm not dealing with your BS with the Marauder. Head this direction, open this door, and inside you'll come across. This is a smaller box, but if you take the long passage around, you'll eventually come across. Hey, red slimes, that's different. Nothing matters, you guys are easy as shit. But inside here, just, uh, dungeon king. And you face the final man who has something to say to you, in which case... Now brave, but be careful of traps! There are no more traps beyond this floor, so no big deal there. Oh, I missed that by one shot. Nope! I'm just gonna go the long way to avoid him. Turn this way, and open the door there. Yeah, that little niche right there that I just skipped, empty chest, that's more than likely trapped. But then you... Then there's this little turn, which has another treasure chest containing another burger. In which case, this is definitely going to Odin. Because Odin has enough freaking trouble trying to keep alive with his crappy ass defense. That being said, move up to 5F. Now 5F has absolutely nothing other than a, a uh, split inside that leads to absolutely nothing. So just run around the box. Oh, horseman. Um. You know what? I think I can do this. I don't think they do a shit ton of damage, but... Okay, six against Odin. Yeah, I can deal with this. I know the Centaur is far worse, but I wasn't so sure about the Horseman, even though it was the weaker counterpart. I got another Flash. Of course I did. Anyway, that's the turn I mentioned. Ignore it, because it leads absolutely nowhere. Dungeon key, open the door, inside here is a smaller cut leading to 6F. And 6F in this case has one final treasure in the area. Make this turn, and there's your chest. Inside here, a cola. I may as well use it. 
use it on Noah, because he has the lowest health. And I have nothing but flashes. Let me just drop it. Let me drop one of them at least. That being said, let's move on. Oh, the magician. These guys also have thunder, so I am gonna skip this. There's also a sorcerer that does show up in B1 that I didn't see. They have fire, which is more easier to deal with. Anyway, I'll make this turn. Now then, let me take a moment. Okay. So if you go farther and take the long box, it simply goes up to 7F, but leads to a trapped empty chest. The correct passage is this direction. This takes you to 7F. The right direction takes you nowhere. Turn over here. And right there is the door to Medusa. How much time we got? Oh, wow, 20 minutes. Okay, um... Damn, I... I'm just gonna go with it. I may as well, considering I've already covered all of this up to this point, this is the only thing left to do. So... I'm gonna drop a cure on Odin, because he will be most important with that mirror shield. And I'm also gonna do a cure on Noah, just to make sure he's at max health. Everybody else should be good to go. You know what? One more cure on Meow, just in case. Meow has the best stuff, but, um... You make sure Odin has the mirror shield here, because otherwise... This is gonna suck. Other than that, get the dungeon key, open the door, and inside is Medusa. Okay, this fight sucks without the mirror shield. The only way you can really handle Medusa in that case is to use the rope spell with Alice, which will block her from using stuff and just hope her MP holds out while you finish her off. Which I do have the rope spell, but it's more important to just drop fire on her. Attack, attack, and wind. You want to go as quickly as you can here. Before your whole party gets petrified. In which case, nope, no petrification, just hits Odin for a decent amount of damage. Likewise, hit fire, attack, attack, and wind. Somehow, Noah did not get petrified. That's amazing. Fire, attack, attack, and wind. Yeah, in which case, just attack. Get fucked, Medusa! And with that, 50 experience points as well as 194 Masetta, but most importantly, the strongest weapon in the game in the Lacanian Axe. Kind of weird that Odin didn't even get a scene with this girl, considering he was, he was trying to fight Medusa for this thing in the first place. But in any case, equip Odin, and there he goes. He's got the best weapon in the game. All that's left now is Lacanian Armor, which is exclusive to him, but that'll come next uh, in a later episode. Alright, it's way too late anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and use the flute. And I am just gonna end this episode here because we are already way past time. And I'm just gonna end the episode here. So with that said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.